but tuppets can lead to many symptoms. Sticky noises, especially at cold engine temperatures, are the most common. However, engine starting issues are rare. I have one such vehicle today. The customer stated that the engine is difficult to start. In the parking lot, it turned out that it did not start at all. What's more, the engine cranks as if there is no compression. Take a listen. While cranking the engine, I quickly examined the oil pressure to assess relative compression. As you can see, the graph lines are flat, which means no compression. Usually those lines form waves corresponding to the resistance piston creates during the compression stroke. Take a look at that. I've connected the battery to a more powerful charger to start the engine, generating over 100 amps to enable faster engine cranking. This creates higher oil pressure and allows the filling of tuppets faster with oil in case of leaks and better impact force on valves in case they get stuck in the valve guides. Eventually, after a few attempts, the engine started and ran as expected. When increased RPM, you will hear noises that seem like hammering. You may notice similar abnormal sounds while you drive the car under the loads, but then the noise will be longer and harder. Often, the noise comes unexpectedly and is difficult to reproduce. I have joined five clips with brief noise occurrences so that you can spot and recognize them. Here it is. I removed the camshaft and just by looking at the hydraulic lash adjusters you can say they are damaged. If you place an imaginary line over them, you will notice that each one is different in height. Here we can notice damage on the valve stem there is also damage to the camshaft cups and the camshaft itself. Apart from damage to the camshafts, there is also visible corrosion, meaning somebody was here just before us and the engine was dismantled for an extended period. And here are the top caps with deep scoring. Let's focus on the tuppets. After removing the camshaft, those hydraulic lash adjusters should be filled with oil and no rebound filling should be present when pressed. As you can see, some of them are soft while pressing, which means there is no oil in them and they are leaking.
Notice that the biggest mechanical damage is on every second valve stem and hydraulic clutch adjuster. That's because variable rocker arms do not always operate. When the rocker arm needs to open valves higher, it suddenly encounters greater resistance, thus causing greater damage. And these issues exist mainly in vehicles driven short distances and too long intervals in oil changes. I remove them for closer inspection. This one gets stuck on and looks more extended. That means the stuck on tappet may work almost as normal. There are similar issues with the remaining tappets, but is it possible for the engine not to start because the hydraulic lash adjusters are damaged? We'll take a look at that in the further part of the video. Those tappets are good examples of what the malfunctioning hydraulic glass adjuster looks like. This is also a clear explanation for those viewers who claim that the tappet shouldn't be bled out while assembling. I also recommend a reference video on checking, cleaning and bleeding out used or new hydraulic glass adjusters, which you will find in the description. Because I did not have a hydraulic lash adjuster as bad as we have seen, I emptied oil from a good one for test purposes and smarted it into the head engine. Even though the hydraulic lash adjuster is empty and soft, it will enable the rocker arm to open the valve. Not as high as the good or bled out tappet, but there won't be a significant difference. We do not need to consider the other exhaust valve because that one is adjustable by the rocker's arm and is irrelevant to our experiment. But if anyone is interested in the opening height of the second valve, it is enough to add the difference we will measure at the first valve. Now that the valve is fully open, I measure the distance from the head engine surface to the valve head. It is 6.25 mm, so I will swap the empty tappet for the good one to compare the differences. So this is the second valve I was talking about. Its rocker arm is adjustable by oil pressure and its height depends on a signal from the PCM powertrain control module. When the soft tappet was mounted here, pressing it by hand and changing its height was impossible, so the engine load factor should have little influence. The dimension with good hydraulic lash adjuster is 6.35 mm, which changes to one tenth of a millimeter. Then what causing the lack of compression or the issue of not starting? Those engines are known for generating soot, and if the soot gathers on the valve stem, the valve gets stuck on the valve guide. It looks more or less like this. When the valve stem is unaffected, it can move freely in the guide. When soot gathers around it, the stem gets stuck in the open position, resulting in a lack of compression. 